Deep in the fridge and behind the green peas. Way past the tofu and left of the cheese. Up in the corner and back by a roast that lay the pancake beside Sir French toast. The leftover friends were as close as can be. Until they heard news from their neighbor, Miss Bree. The syrup is almost completely all gone. A single drop left, just a drop she went on. The last drop is mine, Lady Pancake conversed. But French Toast replied, No, no, get there first! Yay. Like that he was off, and the race had begun, with Pancake behind, breaking into a run. Through broccoli forest, past orange juice fountain, they climbed to the top of Potato Mash Mountain. Pushing and shoving, they fought for the lead. Toast behind Pancake, who rolled at high speed. She screeched to a stop and at the edge of the shelf, clutching a grapevine to steady herself. Toast didn't notice and couldn't quite stop, plummeting down into jam with a pop. He scraped himself off and yelled up, You're a meanie, as Pancake repelled down a rope of linguine. She brayed, I'm the best of all breakfast food treats, then hurtled a line and skipped over two beats. I am, thought Toast, but his chances looked bleak. So Toast took a shortcut down Sauerkraut Peak. Skiing past spinach and artichoke dip, Toast valued high in the air with a flip. Pancake made use of her seafaring skills and sailed across oceans of soup causing spills. But Chili Lagoon slathered Pancake in muck, and then at the fork in the road, she got stuck. You. Don't go that way! No, the chickpeas to warn her! Toast reemerged in the vegetable crisper, sneaking up swiftly, not making a whisper. Beans were now falling from such a great height. Some kidney, some lima, some pinto, some white. Searching for safety from raining legumes, toast turned to hide but was blasted by fumes of Brussels sprouts left from an old hearty platter. So quickly he climbed up a celery ladder. Beside him a lettuce leaf parachute landed. Pancake flipped out, it is mine, she demanded. Battered and soggy, exhausted and crumbling, too tired to push. They were limping and stumbling. There stood the bottle of syrup at last. But oh, wait, it was empty. They stood quite a gas.
licking his lips with a sneer that was awful. Out of the shadows crept Baron von Waffel. I got here first while you boasted and bickered. My, was that syrup delicious, he snickered. With one evil laugh, Waffle slipped out of sight. The syrup was gone, no reason to fight. Trudging back home beneath layers of grime, Toast said, Perhaps we should not fight next time. Agreed, replied Pancake. As friends, we should share. Hey, look, we could split up that butter right there. <laughs>